Hello friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement grid view using recycler view. So here we have a grid recycler. And we can configure the number of columns. So in this recycler we've got two columns. One, two. And we've got our logic implemented on them with an on click listener okay so let's look at the project and see how i did this so open your project in which you want to implement the grid recycler so the first thing you want to do is add a recycler view i added my recycler recycler view 2 and then we also create a custom view. I created a custom view called grid. So let's look at the custom view. So in this custom view, I've got an image view. And this image view is inside a linear, linear one. Then I've made the linear one a frame layout. This is optional. You can leave it as linear layout. So my text view is the one that shows the name of my content and the image view shows the preview of the image just like you see here so there's the image and the name let's go back to the main view to configure this recycler to show us grid, go to one create. In on create, you're going to add these four blocks. The first one is initializing the layout manager. This is the grid layout manager. And then change the number of columns you want. If you want two, three, you can put any number there. Then you choose the way you want it, whether it should be vertical or horizontal, and if you want it to be reversed or not. Then we set the layout manager to our recycler view. So if your recycler view is recycler one, uh, change the name there to match your recycler view. Then you set fixed size on the custom view. That's if your custom view has a fixed size. So a fixed size can be something like 100, 200, those are fixed views. But if it's not fixed, for example, it's, it's wrap content, then you set it to force. Then we get children to our list map. You create a list map that you want to populate with your data. Then after this list map is populated, we set that content to our recycler view like that so i'll leave this code in the description this is the secret the grid layout manager then the rest here you can do as i've done this content i'm getting from my database at that location so you're going to get your content from whatever location it is this is just an example, but a working example. So just configure it right, and it should work for you. Then let's go to unbind. So unbind, you just do like you bind all your data. But the major secret is here. Since it's grid, it's going to be different. So the width, you match parent, and the height, you wrap content. So this is key. If you don't do it like this, you'll find your, your grid view has got wide spaces. Then just configure this to whatever you want to do. Then once you're done with that, you can run your project, and your grid will be showing. If you've got any concerns, queries, you can 
drop them in the comments and I'll be glad to help you.